How you doing guys? Welcome to the Mustache Project. Um, this is my new channel um, that I've decided to make with all my extra free time I have these days. Um, what I intend to do with this channel really is just to kind of show you some of the brews that I do when I'm bored. Um, I do do quite a bit of them now that I have all that extra free time. Um, also, some of the gear I use. Um, currently, I am brewing just five gallon batches uh, with the Brewzilla from Kegland here in Australia. Um, I'll also talk you through some of the mistakes that I've made, how I fixed them, some of the mistakes I still make. So feel free at any time, guys, to give me some criticism, um, as negative or as positive as you want. Um, I'm always here and willing to learn something extra. Um, I am relatively new to brewing. I've only been doing it a couple of years now on and off, um, but more time all grain full-time brewing, you know, maybe 12 months now. Um, I was dabbling a little bit when I lived in New Zealand, but now I'm living here in North Queensland in Cairns. Um, up until recently working as a dive instructor on a liveaboard vessel, so I didn't really have unlimited amounts of time. I only had a couple of days a week that I could actually brew. Um, now with COVID-19 being here, I have heaps of time, so I'm starting to try to really nail out some of the things I've been doing really badly, um, some of the mistakes I've been making, um, trying some new stuff trying a different range of brews. It's coming into winter now here, not that we get much of a winter in North Queensland here, but it's now acceptable weather for me to start brewing some darker stuff like porters and stouts and stuff like that. All right, so I won't keep rambling on. Um, I'll get to my first video. And for this one here, I am just going to show you my current project I've been working on. This one I've been doing for a couple of months now, but um, it's a, well, it's, I've turned a deep chest freezer into, it is essentially usually used as my fermentation chamber. Um, but now that I've got a kegerator um, stashed over in the corner over there, I can now free it up just to fill it with my kegs and use it as my serving fridge. Um, but I will run you through what I've done so far. And um, yeah, feel free to tell me anything you guys have done, show me your projects, um, anything you think I'd do better. Um, and I am all ears. Uh, as I'm not really much of a carpenter on this kind of stuff, so um, some of the woodwork may look a little shoddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's have a look. Alright, so here she is. Um, as you can see, it's a little bit dirty and hasn't quite been finished yet, but I have just stuck the logo onto the front. Um, as you can see, it's got a wooden collar around the outside, a stained coloured jarra here, it's pretty nice. Um, at the moment, it's holding my stainless steel fermenter, and I've also got my Fernzilla. 27 litre in there, um, brewing. I've got a Hefeweizen and a Poppy Pale Ale at the moment. As you can see here, I've got my regulator, um, six different outputs there, still need to be plumbed up, of course. Um, that cable you see in there is my temperature probe um, that is attached to my STC1000. Um, I am going to cut out a spot for that and have it actually built into the woodwork along the collar there. But for the time being, I've just got it sitting on my shelves. Um, yeah, out of the way for the time being. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I've got quite a bit of room. When I remove these fermenters, I've actually got room for 10 corny cakes, which is, well, I'm never going to have that many, but it's pretty cool. Um, I've got the taps here on the front. I've got the inter-tap stainless steels. Um, six of them all lined up there. Um, just this spot over in the corner over here is actually where I intend to cut out for my STC 1000. Um, yeah, all in all, I'm pretty happy with it so far. It's cost me not much to set up so far. Um, once I shut all this up, that really not too bad on the eye. Um, all in all, it's pretty cool. Um, and I mean, that's as far as I've got so far. As you can see, there's some, some lines on there where I've been used graphite from pencils to mark everything out, but I will clean them off and give it one last coat. Um, that there's just my little drawing I did when I was forward. Alright, so that's it for this video guys, um, again, just feel free to hit the comment section below, um, tell me about any of your projects you've got, uh, what you think of mine, um, as far as for my next couple of videos, I'm not sure when I'll put them up, um, but I will be doing some brewing in the next couple of days, so I'll make sure I get a video there and I'll show you how it is, how easy it is really to brew with the um, Brewzilla, uh, 35 litre, the one I've got, um, it is really easy to brew with that thing. Um, and I'll run you through it and feel free to ask any questions about that one on that video. But for the time being, I'll leave it at that. 
Um, sorry about the poor uh, quality of this camera at the moment. My tripod has gone missing, so I'm stuck with this webcam. <laughs> but until then, guys, I will see you when I do my next video. Thank you.